Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, it is cold out there. It is Edmonton, and it's January 16th, 2020, and it's like minus 30 outside. Uh, but I'm here in the office, and I intend to live this day just like I do every other day, and that's serving people. Anyways, my live today is a little bit serious. I really wanted to really kind of hone in why I'm out here on social media so much, talking about finances, talking about how passionate I am. And I watched this video by Ed My let this morning and it just got me thinking about how I never really so just to kind of back up for those of you who don't know me I came from the banking industry I was branch manager for almost 20 years of my career at a, a major bank in Canada and I had left a year ago to go and fulfill what I felt was uh, within the, the journey I was supposed to take and I have not looked back since and I'm glad I did and I never really questioned um, really what people thought of me because I guess I just assumed that with my reputation, with how I treat people in general, that uh, people would just understand and have confidence that I knew what I was doing. And I think on the most part, most people who know who I am and know and care about me do know and have confidence that I chose the right path. But there are some of you guys who might be a little bit skeptical about why I left and are still skeptical. Now, just so you know, I entered into um, basically self-employment okay I went into business for myself to go out there and help middle-income families in a real impactful way and I am a hundred percent confident that I'm probably one of the only trainers out there that do what I do and I'm not trying to sound arrogant or cocky however I've been in the industry for so long that I've dealt with people generally like in the financial arena of things helping customers helping clients get ahead and I found that the platform that I was on ie the bank was not serving me to be able to serve them properly and so I found a way to be able to be myself to do it my way to do it with integrity uh, with discipline and and also provide a, a, a good um, I guess foundation for my family to become financially independent but one of the biggest reasons why I had left and I'm thinking about this every day about what was it that really got me to start thinking about why I was unfulfilled at where I was at was my family comes from a middle income family. I was born and raised in Canada. Uh, my parents came from the Philippines and I was born and raised, you know, learned to go to school, get good grades, get my degree. I got a degree at the University of Alberta, got a job, got recruited and then stayed there for 20 years only to learn after 20 years that I wasn't fulfilling something that was making me happy anymore. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there that have different dreams and maybe you kind of put them aside for a long time because you've just grown up. I, I urge you to start thinking about what you're doing in life and if it's actually serving you and if you actually want to go ahead for the rest of your life to keep doing what you're doing. Um, if it is great, I applaud you. Good for you for getting it on the first try, but I didn't. And it took me 20 years to realize it. Um, I really want to go out there and help middle income families get ahead financially. And that is the, that is the truth. Um, only because I saw families like myself that aren't further ahead than anyone else. And made, we made good money. I mean, at the end of it all, it's really how you relate to money that will cause you to be in the financial state that you're in. And I have, I have the, uh, how can I say this? I have the inspiration and the motivation to go out there and help middle income families because I know what they're struggling with. You got the traditional industry who are chasing high net worth clients and that's great, you know, they, they all have a purpose. However, it's the middle income families that get left behind and that makes me sad. Obviously, my family is very important to me. I have my siblings out on here behind me. I also have, you know, a great mentor, Ed Milet, and my husband, of course, behind me. So, I mean, important things in my life right now are my family and making sure that, you know, we're taken care of. But I know that there's a lot of people out there that are struggling, not with just their finances, who need financial coaching and educating or education without feeling stupid. I know what that's like. I know what it's like. You don't want to walk into a bank and feel like, I don't want to feel stupid, so I'm not going to ask any questions, right? But I always encourage my clients to ask questions without making them feel judged or stupid. Um, but I also have the opportunity of a lifetime. 
I have the opportunity of a lifetime for all of you guys who are not happy with doing what you're doing to go out there and help families alongside with me. I, I have confidence in you to be able to, to train you and invest my time and support into you to go out there and do everything that I'm doing. And you're not going to take 20 years to learn it. I can guarantee you that for sure. But I wanted to reach out here and, and really appeal to those of you who really want to find a dream, I don't want to say a dream job, but a dream um, to be able to go out there and help the world in some form or fashion. You don't have to go out there, and mind you, I applaud those of, those of you who aspire to do this, but you don't have to go out there to different countries and help you know the needy. You can do it right here in your own backyard because there's so many middle income families that need your help and I'm almost, um, I, I really want to find people like me. I'm looking for people with integrity. I'm looking for people with discipline. I'm looking for people who have a kind heart. And so I hope all of you guys who are watching today can share this video so that you can maybe reach someone who might need you know, the, the extra push to, to go find something, even if it is on a part-time basis. You know, and even though you're happy in your job or whatever it is that you do, because there are a lot of people that are trying to get their to, to their dreams and are happy, you might know somebody who needs my help, a middle-income family just like my own, someone maybe who came from a different country originally, someone who was born and raised here, doesn't matter. We all struggle with this. So I hope you take the time to share this video. I hope you take the time to really think about what you're doing in life and, and, and realize that it's never too late to make a change. It was not too late for me. It's not going to be too late even if I decided 10 years from now. The key is that you decide while you're still here on this earth and you go do something about it. Anyways, I hope you have an awesome day. Uh, stay warm for those of you in Edmonton. For the rest of you, I hope you have a great day. I got you all. Bye-bye.